Okay, so I'm going to quickly walk through my process of making uh, a model ready to use an ortho software so I can have very quick and efficient um, uh, models that are great for the printer bed using uh, little res as little resin as possible and be able to fit as many models on as possible. So first I'm going to click on both of these. I'm going to orient them together. Um, that way uh, I don't lose track of um, where things go. Uh, an occlusion is preserved. Click on T. All right, looks good. Hit accept. Let's hide the upper model. Focus on the lower. Hit Control A to highlight it all. D to extrude. You can see the real time, how long this takes me, and negative 12.5. I'm going to go on the y axis, go flat, hit accept. Don't know why, but these little things that hang down uh, bug me. It's really probably a time suck, but whatever. I'm going to go ahead and Click on Edit and do a plane cut off the back end. Not 90 degrees, but 80. Um, have a because I'm missing a tooth. I'm gonna. I want to make sure that that unsupported tooth actually prints. A little bit distal to these two molars, and I don't like the fact that. that it's not closed. I can repair it, but I would rather not have to dink around with that. So, where is it? Sorry. There we go. Okay. Hit accept. There's a little hole. Uh, I might not actually need to fix that hole, but if it gives me a red one, yeah, I'm not going to mess with fixing it. So what I'm instead going to do, well actually I'm going to have to because I'm going to hollow this out. So let's hit auto repair all, let it see what it can do, and that's fine. That's not going to matter. I can address that in a moment. So now I'm going to click on edit hollow, and this is going to hollow it out to 2 millimeters. I'm going to change that to 2.5, 2.5. Update hollow. Hit accept. Plain cut. Come down here. Or so make sure that's closed. It is. Hit accept. I pretty much planed off most of that part anyways. I'm going to bring in uh, my little print base that I created. I'm going to make sure that's online. Anyone can grab it. Orient it at the same angle, that um, 10 degree angle. Okay, I want to make sure that nothing's hanging off of it vertically, but I want to have it pretty close. And I can tell that this right side is the closer side. I don't want a space. There. Appears to be intersecting now. Maybe up just a touch. Okay. Hit accept. Click on this one and this one. Click combine to make it one thing. And I'm done. Um, for I'm at four minutes after you know, after talking, maybe just shy of four minutes. So um, Control A, this isn't something that's necessary. I would hit Control E to export, but just so you can kind of see what it looks like, uh, here is my file. So um, it's going to print well. It's going to pop off the pr the printer when I'm all done, and all the models should look the same after using the aligner software because none of this part's going to be affected uh, as we move the teeth. So a quick little demo, um, if I align this just to kind of show you what it would look like on the, um, the print bed.
let's return this. And let's turn on the printer bed. Let's bring it up so you can really see what it would look like. Enter. And then let's just duplicate this. Make sure they're not, I mean, they're not touching each other actually. That's perfectly acceptable right there. It's really close, but again, not touching is not touching. Unless you get within that, you know, 150 microns uh, on the Form 2 or 100 on the uh, 140 on the uh, Form 2 or the 100 uh, on the Moonray S or whatever. Um, but yeah, the likelihood of that happening is next to none. So let's, uh, so one more just to kind of give you an idea. So now you can see how efficiently you can stack these models. They line up quite nicely. You should be able to get an instrument under there to pop one off, pop one off, pop one off. Obviously, I wouldn't start with this one because it'll, it might hit that one as you're coming off. But anyway, uh, there's your, uh, there's my process. That's how I'm making my models to be print ready. Um, and I've got another video that walks through this whole process in much more detail. It's about a 25 minute um, video, but it's more uh, thought involved. And um, yeah. All right. Here's the, um, the end result. And I hope this uh, kind of gives you guys some ideas of what you can do. All right. Go ahead and check out some of the other videos. Thank you much.